Hey guys, if you've been following my channel, then you'll know the story about Joel, the guy who contacted me on Facebook all the way from Liberia, West Africa, looking for help. So I took a chance on the guy and I hired him to take photos for me. And at first, his photos really sucked. But soon, with a lot of practice, he became the greatest photographer in all of Liberia. And today, we have sold thousands of copies of his book, By the Grace of God, A Photographic Journey Through Liberia which you can also buy at bydegraceofgod.com. And here's how our business works. We take half of all the proceeds and we use it to support worthy causes in Liberia. So we started out giving backpacks to kids. Then we thought that we'd give microloans to young entrepreneurs to help them grow their businesses. But we've learned that it's a little hard trying to collect money from people in developing countries. So uh, you, got, uh, you got my money? Huh? Oh yeah, I'll, I'll pay you soon. And frankly, I don't want to be in the repo business. Where's my money, man? Ha! So what I've come to learn is that Liberia has a real clean water problem. And many people struggle in school and work because they just end up getting sick. And wells are expensive and they always break or get contaminated. So most people just drink bottled water or water balloons. But those are also expensive and they're bad for the environment. And they're not even made in Liberia. So we got to talking with some local folks in Liberia who figured out a great solution to this problem. You see, it rains like five months out of the year in Liberia, and they said, what if we can capture the rainwater, filter it, store it in a barrel, and have it on tap in schools and communities? It's a brilliant idea that's gonna help a lot of people. And Joel and I are happy to report that as of today, we have installed water filtration units in 29 different schools throughout Liberia. Now we've chosen to put these in schools first because that's where kids are spending the majority of the day. And if kids are staying hydrated, then they're staying healthy. And if they're staying healthy, then they're staying in school. And when you're staying in school, you're smarter and you're better able to make your country great again. that you guys might have some questions about these devices and how they work. So I have included an interview that I recently did with the director of these 29 schools. Uh, so yeah, my name is George Cowell and um, I work for Rising Academies and we uh, deliver high quality education where we believe it's needed most. And at the moment we're working in Sierra Leone and, and in Liberia. Uh, in Sierra Leone, we work directly in the capital city of Freetown, um, and in Liberia, we're working in very remote regions in partnership with the, the Ministry of Education here. Uh, and currently, we're serving around 10,000 children across those two countries. Um, so it's a huge op op uh, responsibility, um, but it's really about making sure that uh, all of those children have a safe environment to go to school and that they're, they're learning, which is something which unfortunately doesn't happen enough of in, in these two countries. As my viewers know, um, you know, I had this crazy little story where me and my partner Joel are able to raise some money with his uh, photography books and, and uh, we said that we wanted to give back to the people of Liberia, which is why we have chosen to make this donation to, to your schools. But just tell us what the donation has been able to do, how many water units and what kind of a difference you're seeing those water units uh, making in schools today. Yeah, um, so the commitment from your organization and the organization we're partnering with African Rain is that 29 of these water systems will go into our schools. And so we, we, we're operating 29 schools right across Liberia. And uh, some, of these, some of these schools are three days drive from the capital city. So incredibly remote. It's quite, you know, it's a, it's a very brave undertaking to be getting these, these bits of technology out. But a number of our schools um, don't have pump facilities on the site or those pumps may malfunction or have water quality issues for, for a variety of different reasons. And, you know, when, when that happens, the, the effects can be, well, firstly, they can disrupt the typical school day, which affects children's learning, which is something that we, you know, we, which is the foundation of what we do. Uh, and then in a more serious situation, it can affect children's health. Um, so by using this locally produced technology, this 
water capture and filtration system, we can guarantee one, that children have access to water on the site, and two, that that water is not going to make those children ill. Um, and what we, we hope to see, and what we uh, the kind of we've seen anecdotally in our first seven schools where we've added these systems, is um, that uh, attendance will increase. Uh, we'll see a lack. We'll see a reduction in children who are having to take time away from school because of uh, they're they're sick with stomach bugs or even things that are more serious. Um, and that ultimately this will help um, this will help learning in the school, which is you know the foundation of what we do. Well, great. I was talking with the, um, with, the, with the owner of this African Rain Company, and she used to be, uh, according to her, she used to be in the business of, of banking and giving out little microloans to the people in Liberia, and she would help people kind of grow their business and make a little bit of money, but then she would realized that um, they would, uh, you know, oftentimes get sick or their family members would get sick, and then they would have to go cash out all the money that they had uh, made. Um, just in order to take care of their people and so it, for her it all came back to clean water and we need to just make sure that everybody has access to clean water and then we can be a healthy uh, nation and, and really grow and, and, and learn and, and, and grow as a people. So that's, that's really yeah. exciting. Yeah, absolutely. I, and, and, and you know, for us there is the basics of just making sure that children get access to clean water so they can come to school and they don't get ill. But, you know, in some of these regions where we're working, the statistics around um, child mortality rates and things like that are, are really, really, um, you know, really shocking. And, you know, we are, uh, on one hand, we're talking about increasing attendance rates to schools and making sure that children are learning. But, you know, in, in, I'm, I have no doubt that these systems will, will, will also help stop those more severe cases where children's lives are very much at risk. And so it's, it's hard to quantify that because it's hard to know how many children are being kept alive by these systems. But, you know, we, 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 we know that um, unfortunately too many children die of, of waterborne diseases in, in rural Liberia and this will make a contribution to that. Yeah. Um, well, cool. Uh, so the last thing I wanted to ask about is, did you have any idea about me or Joel or our, our, our YouTube videos or this little booklet that he was working on? Was this all a surprise to you when you were introduced to me? Or was this something that you knew about? I've got to know the story. I'd heard a bit about the story um, just from people talking in Liberia and Monrovia about it. And then once we've been introduced, I, I, I saw the videos that you put together and uh, we must, we must get Charles with his camera, and uh, you know, I don't know whether he's going to produce another book, but um, it would be great to have some of our communities as part of that. Well, um, we appreciate the partnership, and I'll, I'll have to send Joel over to, to deliver you a book as a, you know, a token of our, you know, appreciation and your partnership, and uh, and uh, hopefully we can continue to work together on some exciting and fun things to help the people over there. Absolutely, absolutely, Ben. Thank you uh, to everyone and, and everyone who's contributed um, to this fund that's going into our schools. You know, we really appreciate the the donations and the support. And I can guarantee you, it's um, it's going to some very uh, some places where it's very much appreciated. And I think I've sent you a video of uh, one of our principals talking about the system. So hopefully, you can uh, you can hear from one of the people that are really benefiting from it as well. On behalf of my Cecilia and Doma family, the group, the SARS, the PTA, the Cakes. We are grateful to the, the partners who implemented this. I think they did extremely well. So thank for what our resources we use. So I extend my gratitude to them on behalf of this institution. So that's what's been going on with me and Joel. If you were one of our customers who bought a book or a shirt or a mug, I just want to say thank you. Because we are hydrating Liberia one school at a time and it's all because of you. So thanks again for the support. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for sharing the story. We're only getting started, so I'll see you guys next time.